That escalated quickly. Thanks, Gabe. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. I don't think I was that bad as a teenager. I mean, I had my moments, but not like that. Gotta be careful. Any more muertos pushing? Those boards won't hold up. I don't think I would have said that crap to the people. That's for damn sure. He's just being a dick. Hmm. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. We all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. You're a cool girl, okay. Clementine. Lee raised you right. <laughs> Kinda. Sturdy. But only room for one. Hmm. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. Graveyard ship is killing me. Ah, uh, let me get some of this. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready. Ready. Enough of this bullshit, Gabe. I'm gonna be fucking stern with your ass from now on. You don't deserve this shit. Not during this zombie apocalypse. This is getting stupid. Huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. You know, I'm just trying to keep you safe, don't you? Uh, yeah, but... But nothing. <clears throat> you want to keep doing stuff like this, you gotta learn how to follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. 
Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Oh boy. I'm trying to find some good stuff around here. Started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Hot wiring a car. Let's do it. Or technically a truck. Wire cutter should help with this. Connect the battery to the ignition. Why not? Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Picked the wrong one, didn't I? So I'm probably just let there be light. Oh boy. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. <laughs> Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. Oh, I know. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay, so I hope it works out for them. I really do. That's the kid. They're good for each other. I think. I think their first official date will be target practice. Yeah. Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as 
terrible and tragic and just plain stupid. There's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. When I was his age and I liked the girl, I was a fucking wreck. Sweaty palms and stomach aches. Boners behind math books? We knew. Every time, we knew. See? Hell on earth. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. Honestly, I'm not that sure of anything right now. I'm just trying to do the right thing here. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Avi would not probably feel the same way. No pressure or anything, all right? Well, maybe I should have stayed quiet. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good at he pressure, but, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. I don't think so. It's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now! Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now! I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know it's what true. happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. 
So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. If we're going to do something risky... We've got to make sure we've protected ourselves. Exactly. If we're going to get Dad back, we can't fight fair. Mm. That's probably true. It's getting crazy out there. For the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle strong council, strong community. But unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all. She's in lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. No, no, no. I can't believe this is really happening. She's going to kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I think she's bluffing. It's a scare tactic. There's no way she's really going to execute David. Are you sure? I hope you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you came here because you wanted to save your brother. Admirable. Almost. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, People who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh, no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just oh, one. Fuck. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're going to punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Shit. Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. 
God damn you, Jill. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? I have to do Ava. <laughs> Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, you Javi, brought know. this bitch. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no-good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't... No! Oh, my God. They really shot her. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. Fuck this shit. You can hate me all you want. You fucking double crossed us anyway. I can't this. this isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves Gladly. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Oh, man. I really want to shoot her. I'll tear her apart. Oh, man. Go to hell, Joe. Okay. Don't you bring that Eleanor shit on me. You told everyone about saving David. You son of a bitch! Get back here! Gabe, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. David's not thinking right. What's worth more, his revenge or your life? I think you're right. Fuck you. Fuck everyone in this town. Fuck even Eleanor. Fuck you. I've helped you. Shit, I gotta help her. God damn it. Just go. I'll try and cover you. We had a way out of this hobby. Why did you have to go and shoot her? Shit, get down! I hear gunfire. What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you need a pickup? Or do you have things under control? Kate, we need to get the fuck out of here. Right now. Can you bring the truck over? On my way. Uh. 
<laughs> town was gonna go get fucked anyway. It was insane. People need to die. This stuff gets me a little hype, yo. Oh god! Javi, you've gotta get over there before uh... Jane! This whole store is fucked. I guess we should have run away, but it was a it was a better plan to <sighs> This whole situation's fucked. Alright, let's see what the choices are. My <laughs> Jesus Christ. She promised that you would help Kate with the family if David left. You and ninety one percent of players. Okay. How did you respond to Dr. Lingard, Lingard's request? You and 46% of other players refused to kill. Okay. 52%? Really? I guess so. To tell Kate you had feelings for her. You and 78%. I mean, it's obvious, I think. Why did you try to save... Who did you try? 58%. Okay. Did you shoot Joan or take Clint? Yeah, I, I had to shoot fucking Joan. She was crazy. I think, I think honestly, that's what it should have happened anyway. Oh man, this is fucked. I hope Kate's okay. Probably not. But, who knows. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, episode 5 will be out soon. Just uh, having fun playing this game. And of course, I'll make other videos. So please, spread the word, like, share, and subscribe.